Okay, so today we're just going to talk about using the f and f function. Um, after this, we will have learned enough material to get into uh, example problems. So we'll do that uh, using num2 string function, char function, and um, f and f function. Uh, so what is f and f function? Um, in the last video, we saw, or we rather printed a table using um, the char function. Here we're going to do the same using um, f and f function. Uh, it's easier to use f and f function than it is to use the char function. It's more user friendly, and um, on an exam or a quiz, you'll be asked to use f and f more often than the char function. Um, for me, when I learned it, I was uh, the char function showed up on my first exam, and that was it. I never saw it again. Um, but the f and f function you use, use it over and over throughout the course and even after um, if you take a higher level course in MATLAB or, or or any other engineering course so let's jump into it by doing an example problem so here we're asked to replicate this table that contains um, these elements of these two vectors so here we have x is assigned um, numbers from 1 through 10 and it's a column vector um, and here you see we have y is assigned x to the second power so all the squares of 1 through 10 so 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square, 6 square, 7 square, 8 square, 9 square, and 10 square so we see that these are column vectors keep in mind because this is something that's really um, something you need to make sure you do um, or else you're going to struggle with uh, f and f. So to print this table first we have to print these two lines so that's pretty simple you do f print f print f and then um, you put single quotes inside it and then inside those single quotes you just put x and y and once you're done printing all you need to print for this line um, what you put is a backslash n so it says okay MATLAB print all of this and once you're done printing that go to the next line so sla uh, backslash n tells it to MATLAB to go, uh, go to the next line so then you want to print the second line so it's similar to the first one except you just put a bunch of um, equal signs and then once you're done with that you just put, put a backslash and saying telling MATLAB to go to the next line so now this is the complicated part um, and a part that a lot of people struggle with so I'm just going to write the code um, run it and then I'm going to explain what I did um, because I think that's the best way of um, going about it f and maybe I'll make this 5.0f2 or um yeah 5.0f is fine. So now if I run this line of code, you'll see that oops I forgot to put do not forget to put your backslash ends anywhere. You have to put it even you have to put it here too, um because it will print the line and then it will go to the next line and it will keep doing that. So now that that's fixed, it should be working. Okay, so we see that um, it printed that. You can change the size. You can probably move this over, um, and then. But that's not the bigger picture here. So you see how it printed all of these numbers. So when you do, when you say Per this when you say percent f what you're telling um, MATLAB is that x, uh, x right here is uh, of is of type double so it's like it's numbers basically you're saying it's numbers and when you say percent f right here you're telling MATLAB that y contains numbers so this will this means that it will print out numbers percent f percent f so x and y are both um, numbers so this one this first one 
right here is 4x and the second one right here uh, percent 5.0f is for y so after so the first thing like I said this tells MATLAB that it's numbers and then the file right here tells MATLAB how many spaces there are so here if you see right here so I put one two three spaces here but before including one MATLAB prints out five spaces or takes out five spaces for X and it does the same thing for Y so if you look right here um, or actually if I do this it's probably much better to see what I what I'm trying to tell you um, run so in front of I claim that in front of um, in front of one right here there should be no more than four spaces so it's a total of five spaces from here one two three four five so you see there's no more than five spaces so it tells MATLAB that including the number that you're trying to print there should be a total of five spaces and that's all you should print and then the zero after that it just tells after the decimal point after the dot tells uh, if you have a decimal here it tells you to print the number of decimals since we don't have any decimals here you just put a zero that means that don't print any decimals if even if you have decimals so the same thing um, goes here so I, I don't know if that made clear sense of what I was trying to say um, but I will definitely do more example problems and think of different ways of explaining that also like I pointed out before, since these two are column vectors, um, you have to put a prime here. So, uh, um, it's something that once you uh, do it, start using more often, you understand why you're doing it. But in the beginning, when you don't know why you're doing it, you just make these column vectors. So make x and y column vectors, and then put a prime right here to make them into a row vector because when the, when MATLAB reads your code it reads it like this um, it takes the first um, um, I guess first row and then it prints that and then it takes the second row and then prints that um, and so forth so just make sure x and y here are um, column vectors and then you put a prime after that to turn them back into um, row vectors. I will try to go more in depth about and explain this better in a ne in a future video because we'll be doing example problems anyway. So I'll talk more about this percent 5.0f um, format of doing it. It's just saying that um, you're printing numbers. Percent and f just says print print numbers. Um, this says how many spaces total you should give that number and then this just says how many decimal um, how many decimal points your number when you print it is allowed to have um, and it's not it's not too complicated but I'll do more example problems on it um, thank you for watching see you next time